my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. I'm ready to start making videos again. I also realized that many people didn't appreciate my countdown videos. I apologize for these videos because they didn't have my original content. And in the future, if I don't make a video, I will simply not publish a video. I don't always have time to make videos. It's, it's not like I'm running out of ideas. This hobby is full of challenges and there's always something to learn. I'm learning more from you and your comments every day. Given some time to reflect, I thought to myself, why am I interested in astrophotography? As an eight-year-old boy in 1969, I recall the Apollo 11 landing on the moon. As one of 600 million people watching the live landing on the moon, these scenes are permanently etched in my mind. And I think this is the first time I realized how exciting space was. And as a child, I was looking to the night sky not knowing I would be interested in astrophotography. The Apollo program clearly excited the world as brave people paved the way for space exploration. I find myself in another exciting time where amateur astrophotographers are contributing to the exploration of space from their own backyards. Now, you don't have to discover seven Earth-sized planets orbiting an ultra-cool dwarf star to enjoy astrophotography. Astrophotography can be enjoyed by everyone. Astrophotography has never been so widely available to so many people and new to astrophotography technologies are always being discovered to make astrophotography even easier. Anyway, I'd like to hear your comments on what inspired you to get started in astrophotography. It may be the space shuttle program or maybe it could be something as simple as looking at the night sky. Looking back now, I can clearly understand how important these men and women were to space exploration and astrophotography. I have some great videos coming for you soon, and I would like to leave you with an inspiring clip from NASA about Apollo 11. At 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, Nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Shadow. Four forward, forward drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn. We're Armstrong is on the moon. Captain, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man. Desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Magnificent sight out here. Magnificent ventilation. Tranquility base, uh, Houston. Guidance recommendation uh, is pings, and you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, understand. We're number one on the runway. Seven, six, five, engine arm asset. Apollo 11, this is Hornet, Hornet, over. Apollo 11, this is Apollo 11, the mid-July core. Our position 1 